Yo, you're right. It's Tommy Allen here. And today we're doing the kind of fifth tutorial in how to integrate Wides Reflect and the spatial audio stuff into Unreal Engine 5. And today we are focusing on AK geometry and associated, associated rooms and a little bit of transmission and just how to set that up. So since we've been using lots of cubes and audio volumes and the shapes of cubes, we're going to carry on that theme. So what I want you to do is add in a cube. Excellent. And after we've added in this cube, what we need to do is, okay, let's just make it nice and long. We want this to be kind of blocking our sound sources. So what we've got, if you've been following along, we've got our dog bark and we've got our gunplay on the either side of this wall and our player start over here. So as we play the game, nothing's working. Um, we can even see that kind of line that was there, the reflection line not working at all. Okay, so it's not recognizing it. What we need to do is go into the cube that we've just made and add AK Geometry. Easy. AK Geometry is now added in. And we need to put this down to simple collision. Okay, and now, because we've got diffraction enabled, actually, let's turn this off. Okay, actually, let's leave it on. Enable diffraction. And now, it should sound like we're going behind a wall. Okay, so we press play. These purple dots is where it's actually diffracting around to us. It's getting louder. Okay, easy peasy. Working like we want it to. And, um, yeah. So that's, that's what we want. Now, um, what we can do is turn diffraction off. And instead, we can kind of use more transmission. So say this is a really big wall. Um, now, let's just make it really big. Ooh. Why wouldn't you get big? Ah. Oh. Let's make it a really big wall. So it's going to really struggle to kind of actually diffract around there. Um, what we're going to need to do is AK Geometry. And now it should be like a off and on scenario. Okay. Can't hear anything. Come around the wall. Off and on. Okay, case. But what we can do is actually have some transmission coming through. So we can go over to, uh, in our AK geometry component. So on our cube, AK geometry. And on override transmission, let's make this 0.4. So now when we play, it should sound like it's coming through the wall. Okay, that seems a bit loud. So let's just turn that up to oop, surface overrides, AK geometry. Let's make this 0.8. Okay. That's a bit quiet. Okay. Let's go for it. Little three bears. 0.75. No. 0.65. 64. Nice cube number. Or square number. That sounds good. Okay, and we can also have, um, if we make it smaller, we can also have transmission and our diffraction coming around at the same time. Okay, so if we go to AK Geometry, we've made it a bit smaller. Let's enable diffraction. And let's see what that sounds like. But if we actually lower the transmission really low, let's make it 0.01. It's like there's no diffraction at all, but we're still getting the diffraction calculations happening. Okay? So we can actually, there's lots of things you can kind of combine. If this isn't working, if you followed it along and you're like, what the hell is going on? Why is it not working? And it's usually everything works up until you start playing with transmission. Um, it is here. So in your sources, in your AK components, so say you've done the setup, you followed it along, and you're like, what? Something's not working. Um, in the occlusion section of your dog bark component, if the vis visibility, the this is usually set automatically to 0 0.2, okay? Um, so this one and the gun is now set to, what I've set it to is 0 0.0. I should have said this before. But sometimes when you drag in a an event, so if I put play gun again, um, 
the AK component and it, it sets it to 0 0.2 automatically. So you always want to put it to 0 0.0. And half the time, you know, you're doing something, everything's working fine. But with transmission, that's when it starts to mess up. So let's just hear the gun when we set it to the normal setting because it just doesn't work anymore. Okay, AK geometry. Let's set this to 0.5 and we'll turn off diffraction. And I'm smashing my mouse, nothing's working. But when we turn this, okay, when we turn our gun back down to the occlusion, the interval to 0 0.0, it magically works again. Don't know why, just is. Okay, so that's just that little, and now it's working again. Okay, so we just got to take that into account when we're doing this. Right, so we've looked at a basic wall and the transmission and how it can work and diffraction. Um, let's have a look at what these, in here we've got this thing called associated room. And um, this is kind of cool. So we've got our little thing that we want to set up. I'm going to make these so it's less intensive. Let's just make these one. Um, and yeah, let's enable diffraction. So we've got this cube. And if I copy and paste this multiple times, so one, okay, and say I've got one, two, three, copy, paste. Um, it starts to get, there's a lot more rays. It's going to treat every object as an individual object, and it gets a bit more intense, okay, for the computation. So you can see all these rays firing. If we've got, you know, multiple orders of rays, it's going to get more complicated, and it's a lot of detail we don't need, okay, for, say, it's all over the world. So what associated rooms can do is bring these objects in when we want them to be in. Uh, I might have explained that bad, so I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to delete everything because it's easier. Um, and I associate the room to, let's say, volume 0.83. This should be volume 0.83. Yes, it is. Okay, so copy, paste. I'm going to make nine of these. Copy, paste. And one, two, three. Copy, paste. And I want to hear these, but I don't need to hear them when I'm outside of the room. Okay, so if I drag this off, um, I come out of the room, I'm going to get no reflections, okay, which is good. But now, when I enter the room, I'm getting reflections coming off the walls, I'm getting them all hitting the kind of nice geometries that I've made. Okay, which works quite nicely. Um, also, there's some other things, like weird things you can do. So um, when I step into this room, I'm actually going to turn off the room. Actually, no, the room needs to be enabled, sorry. Um, I'm going to turn down transmission loss. And now when I step into this cube, so oh. Is this in the correct associated room? Yeah, associated room. Okay, geometry, and where is the gun sound coming from? Dog bike, let's put the gun nodes in here. Okay, right. So when we're in here, now you can see it's all, all the lines are kind of going to the geometry it was associated with. So this could be used for maybe mountains in the distance or something like that. I don't know. But you can kind of stop things being drawn when you come in and out of rooms and associated places. Okay, so they were turned on when it was outside. So if I drag this outside as well, is that the play gun? Um, yeah. Not all of them are now being connected. Okay, which is what we kind of want. I don't know why this one's hitting here. What? Let me figure this out. Ah, that's because there's a double one. That's why. So that, could you see why we're getting that extra associated room one? Let me delete that. Now it should work properly. I was like, what is going on? Okay, so. 
Now, we get no reflections from these, the associated room. Okay. Right, let me cut that video. Snap. So now I've made these nine here, and they're all associated to room 83, audio volume 83 here. Um, when I enter this room or this box, these will then be activated as reflective surfaces. So, can't hear anything, can't hear anything. Great. Now come in. Oh, sorry. Let's cut that again. Okay, so when we're... Okay, so now we've got these nine items or these nine objects with the associated room of the Spatial Audio 83, or Volume 83, and it's going to recognize these objects when the object is in the room or when the gun is firing inside the room. It will then see these objects. Okay, and I'm going to turn off surface reflectors as well in here. Okay, so let's see how this works. So you can't hear anything, right? Or you can't see anything. Now it's picking up all our new geometries. Okay, we come out. It's not picking up those geometries anymore. So we can associate the room. So another way we, we can put this box over the top. And I'm going to actually enable surface reflectors. So this is good for like kind of computational, computation and things. So when we come outside the room, um, it's only one kind of bullet. Actually, it's actually better with a gun. I'm actually going to use this with a gun. So there we go. Okay, right, so now I've got these um, nine objects all associated with volume 83. And here's our spatial audio volume 83. Okay, and I'm actually using a gun for this so I can actually move the object about. So I've just attached the play gun onto uh, this weapon here. And um, yeah, so when I move outside the room, it's not gonna, it's gonna ignore all these objects that are inside the room and when we go inside the room it's going to take into account ah there's all these new reflections okay so it's kind of good for computation so let's see that in action um walk outside the room pick up my gun okay just one reflection come inside it's now picking up all the extra objects that are inside so that's quite a useful little tool for computation um yeah so i hope that was useful um i'm gonna cut this down and yeah i'll see you in the next one and we're gonna start looking at some more complicated stuff i think we're gonna look at how to set up these bad boys and fit to geometries okay right thank you very much and i'll see you for kind of tutorial six